guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Wendy if you are new here. And if you're not new here, then welcome back. I am a registered nurse. I've been a registered nurse for eight years now. It'll be nine years next summer of 2020. Crazy. And time flies so fast. But anyways, on this channel, I share my nursing advice, my nursing journey, as well as bits and pieces of my life. So if you're interested in any of that type of content, then make sure you subscribe, that you also like this video if you find any valuable information. And guess what? I am so excited to share with all of you that I finally have found two preceptors, possibly a third, for May of 2020. So I have found a woman's health preceptor, which that one, I'm almost positive that it's it's all gonna work out good. She, I talked to the preceptor, which like I said, if you haven't seen that video where I talk about my tips when meeting a potential preceptor, make sure to check that out after the video. I'll link it up here. But I definitely want to tell you guys also that I've also found a preceptor for pediatrics. Now, the one thing that I haven't mentioned to you guys, and I just remember right now. So the other thing that I would like to tell you guys is that I also have found a second possible pediatrician that is willing to precept me. Well, he is willing to precept me. I actually spoke to him on Christmas Eve over the phone and he was willing to precept me, but the problem is that my paperwork is due in the beginning of January and he will be out of the town or I don't know if it's out of town or out of the country but he said we could meet after that to discuss it now the only thing is I don't know if my school will allow me to submit all that information after the deadline I'm not sure how that works just because I've never encountered that so far in the program but I know with my friend she is actually doing Walden and they will not let her submit any more information for potential preceptors into her I don't know what is she doesn't use in place she uses something else which if you guys don't know what in place is I hate repeating myself over and over in every video just because I've most likely I've already made a video talking about that but I'll link it up here if you guys don't know what in place is and I go into great detail but my friend she goes to Walden and she was going to try to input another preceptor for her rotation for her future ro rotation and actually they told her that she couldn't do that that she had to appeal so I know like every school is different but that was her case so hopefully it doesn't happen to me I have two secured preceptors for women's health and for pediatrics so yay because they did actually give me the information which I'm going to finally submit today now during this video I, I'm just so excited that I don't have to stress about my May 2020 clinic rotations because that's the most stressful part trying to find and secure preceptors is so hard and I've already mentioned that in a million of my videos but hey it's reality and I, you guys need to know that because it's hard but now let's get into this and let's just input all this information in because I'm just excited like I just want to submit it kind of like forget about it and then follow up monthly here and there but yep let's do this specifically states that for summer of 2020 the deadline is very soon and there will be no late applications will be accepted for any reason so I guess that's a no which kind of is a bummer because like I said I think it would have been such a great experience to just do it here with my with the provider who used to be my pediatrician plus it was here locally but you know it is what it is it's okay but that's how it is, you know? So anyways, uh, that's a bummer. <sighs> so seriously, I have some horror 
horrible luck. I'm like trying to input this pediatric info and it's just loading. The email just keeps loading, loading, loading. So I'm like, come on, I just want to get it over with. Like, what is going on? So the other thing is that I had actually already started my pediatric information and I don't know what happened. It didn't save, so or I don't know. <laughs> Let me see. I wish it did. Anyways, I guess I'll just bring up the email on my phone and kind of just do that because I need to make sure I finish like ASAP. I don't want to keep dragging this on and on and then something happen like the day of that it's actually due and then I'm like I don't know that something happens and then I can't do it that would suck so much so I'm just gonna search it up on my phone and we'll go from there Just like that, with a click, we are done. I have submitted both women's health and peds preceptor information. I'm done. So now that I have submitted all the information for my preceptors for both pediatrics and women's health, I am going to look for something that's very important, which is a lab coat. I need to buy a lab coat. And I also want to buy like maybe some resources like books that like pocketbooks that I could put into my um, lab coat when I'm at clinicals because remember I'm going to be starting my family practice clinicals in January so I've already done some research as to which lab coat I want and also um, which resources I'm most likely going to buy I'm also going to buy some apps I'm going to buy books but I'm also going to be purchasing apps you know iPhone apps as well but in regards to the iPhone apps I still haven't figured out which ones I really want to purchase because I mean I don't want to spend that much money right but I do think it's important that I do have some references in book form because you know especially in clinical like I don't want them to think that I'm gonna be on my phone all the time doing something else that's not looking up clinical information so that's why I prefer to get books, but I am also going to research what other phone apps I can purchase to so that it can help me with my rotations. Of course, with that being said, that means I will be sharing with you guys in another video what lab coat it is that I purchased as well as what books I purchased and also which apps I decided to get. So stay tuned for that video because of course I'm going to be sharing that with you guys as well. You know, I wonder if my stethoscope is still good. I, if I remember, I think it was breaking like a little bit. So let me look at it. If not, I'll have to buy one. So it actually looks like my stethoscope is still good. I've had this stethoscope for a really long time. And which one is it? It's a Lipman. It's a Lipman two, 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 Classic 2. So I've had this one for a while. Oh, that's where it was breaking. I don't know it has these little I don't think you guys can see it's like kind of starting to break I don't know I don't know stay tuned for that video um, maybe I'll buy a new one but I'm not sure I really don't want to spend extra money than what I have to like you guys already know um, I try to spend as little as possible um, just especially if I'm not but I mean a stethoscope is essential, but I don't know. I'll think about it and then I'll update you guys on whether I actually ended up buying a new stethoscope or not. All right, you guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video, but really it's just like little updates um, in regards to my NP student journey. So I just want to make sure that I keep you guys in the loop 
and that you guys are aware of what's going on throughout my journey so that if you are following my journey because you're also in the same boat as I am, you know what it is that you have to do next, like what the next steps are, if that makes any sense. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a like, subscribe, and remember, there's gonna be a future video coming up where I share what lab coat I got, what books I got, what apps I got to prepare for clinicals. So I hope that you guys have a great day. Bye.